Tuesday, April 2nd was World Autism Day. Joining me now is Beth Zimmerman and Ruth Conway from the Autism Society of the Black Hills here to talk about the importance of raising awareness. Thank you both so much for joining me this morning. Thanks for having us. Yeah, so let's talk a little bit about what the Autism Society of the Black Hills does. So we host numerous events for our families that have kiddos or even adults with autism throughout the year. Uh, this month we are hosting on Monday a press start night for parents and families to bring their kids and their older adults to join us down at Press Start where it's just us and nobody else. Um, during the summer we hold a com summer camp for kids with autism because they, a lot of them can't go to summer camp with other kids because of how they react and we hire staff from the school district like paraprofessionals and SPED teachers to come out and help us and that's part of the stuff that we do. We, you, we sometimes will hold a walk, which this year will not be in April because of some problems that we had, but we will host it in October and we are very excited about the theme this year. So. Oh, all right. Do we want to give a little hint on what the theme is? Do we know yet? Um, keep your, get your costume ready early. Oh, all right. <laughs> That's exciting. Something to prepare for. Yeah. I'm always getting my costumes ready early. <laughs> so you guys are a completely volunteer run organization. How can someone get involved in volunteering with you guys? Just shoot us an email, Facebook message, a phone call. We would love to have more volunteers because sometimes it gets, like last night we had a meeting, there was a whole three people on it. We like, we really need to get more people and more people involved so that we can make it bigger. Yeah, and is there some information maybe on your website about how to do that or can um, we give you? Our Facebook page. Okay, Facebook, perfect. Same things there, you know. Yep. Um, and why is it important to raise awareness about autism and kind of um, hold these events and bring these people together? Um, one thing we talked about is just they've changed, you know, it used to be autism awareness and now we're moving toward autism acceptance and just to think that we appreciate the differences that these folks have. It's not just being aware of it at this point the diagnoses are higher than ever and so uh, the community is, can appreciate th what's different about these guys yeah of course and you mentioned on Monday you have an event at press start um, let's get some details about what that what what can people look forward to um, we kind of just let everybody go and so like volumes are down like they have their TV on and stuff but it won't be like a normal Saturday when you go into press start where it's so overwhelming it will be um, like down a notch and it'll be mostly like our kiddos that don't want to go to press start on a normal night and then we'll have pizza and drinks and kind of get to know other families that are going through the exact same thing we are and what we can teach them from what we've learned over the past. What am I on, 13 years? Oh wow, <laughs> okay. And someone who um, wants to go to the event, um, can they just show up? Is it free? Yep. Um, what time does it start? It starts at six o'clock. Okay, perfect, six o'clock. So. It's going to be a great event held, and then you guys have something um, coming up in October for the whole community, and that's your um, autism awareness walk, autism acceptance walk. Um, yeah. What we does are starting? Yeah, oh, sorry, we're starting. We're starting a support group as well. Um, in the past, they've they've done that, but um, in the 14th of April will be our first one at the Rapid City Public Library at three. And so, if if families are interested or wanting inf more information and just to connect with with other groups of parents that's a good place to start, which information for that will be on our Facebook page and on our website as well. We do have Jump Craze tomorrow morning. Oh yes, we partner oh, with a couple organizations in town, so Golden Ticket and um, Jump Craze both have sensory friendly times, and so we usually post those on our Facebook page as well. Okay, so you guys are doing amazing work, and the best way to find out is through your Facebook page. Mm -hmm. We'll have a little bit more information on what you all do on our website as well. Thank you both so much for joining me this morning. Looks like you have a lot of fun coming up for the rest of the year and into October. I'm already looking forward to that. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. Thanks, Thanks for having us. Thank you. We'll be right back.